the World Economic Forum in Davos, I met Juliana, who is from the tech pioneer company Ushahidi. Ushahidi means something very, very meaningful in your language. What does it mean? In Kenyan, I think. In Swahili, Swahili. <laughs> it means testimony, mm -hmm. um, bearing witness, mm -hmm. saying this is what I see. Um, and uh, Ushahidi is a platform for crowdsourcing information. It changes the way we collect data, aggregate it and geolocate it on a map so that you have an idea of what is going on where. Yeah. Can you give me some examples um, that are very big or that you are particularly proud of? One of the biggest examples was uh, the um, Haiti earthquake mm -hmm. when we uh, assisted with the deployment of that and it provided a channel for Haitians to, s to text in their needs and say this is my current need and this is uh, where I'm located and it also provided a channel for the diaspora Haitians to assist in the effort. Mm -hmm. So beyond just uh, donating money via your mobile phone you're able to help translate messages mm -hmm. from uh, Haitian Creole into English and for that information to be available to first responders such as the Southern Command. Mm -hmm. Other examples of how the platform has been used is with the Queensland floods in Australia where people are able to say um, this is how the floods are affecting me and uh, it acted as a complement to the Australian Broadcasting Corporation's efforts to cover the extent of the damage because the, the mainstream media cannot be everywhere but they were able to get reports from rural areas where they're not able to to be there you know so people can send a quick text message and say this is where I am and this is what's going on. Like you're mapping so much information like for example if somebody in Haiti puts on like from a certain place like first they need internet access or does it also work through mobile? Uh, so the platform itself is built such that when deployed, it covers varying shades of connectivity. Mm -hmm. So if I'm in rural Kenya and all I have is my mobile phone, and if there's a short code number that has been preset, I can just text my information mm -hmm. in and say this is where I am and this is what's happening. And then you can also uh, email the information in. Mm -hmm. You can fill out a web form if you're in a place with uh, internet access. And you can even use a Twitter hashtag to okay. report. So if you have your Twitter running and you're like, um, I see some, I see a crime happening or I see uh, I was affected by the floods, you could use a certain hashtag. Mm -hmm. It depends on the particular deployment. What I'd like to make clear is that Ushahidi is just the underlying platform that people can use in different ways. Uh, as you are an underlying platform, as you said, uh, like for example, somebody puts in in uh, Haiti that they need uh, milk powder. Like, do you are you only the platform and then let it develop by itself? Who's helping, or do you also collect the information, build up, uh, uh, how do you say, programs uh, to uh, fulfill the requests? Um, we are a pretty small organization, so we cannot act like the Red Cross. We don't have that sort of cap capability. Our capability is in building the software mm -hmm. such that people do not have to start from scratch in terms of setting up the channels of communication. When you, when, when, when you have a crisis or you have a big event, you need channels of communication for the public to say this is what's going on. Mm -hmm. And they can do that via SMS, email, web and Twitter. Mm -hmm. And that's what Ushahidi provides. Yeah. And with CrowdMap, uh, CrowdMap.com is Ushahidi in the cloud, mm -hmm. such that you do not need uh, to set up your own server. You can just go to CrowdMap.com and uh, define what the problem is and define uh, the type of information you would like to collect from the public. As a non-profit you are funded by other non-profits and charities but crowdsourcing is also a big topic in other fields like uh, science, branding, in many fields. Like, Is this platform also open to um, this kind? Yes it is. Uh, the licensing on it is uh, open source license such that uh, any improvements to the platform will need to be shared with the community. Uh, it can be used for businesses and uh, we do have a consulting arm such that if a business wants to use the software we can help them customize it and deploy it and in that case it, it would be a, there's a business angle to that. Yeah.